now that we are all green, we have a chance to refactor. And I think in the last episode, you may have seen a really good opportunity to refactor. Let's go back to our, um, I guess our spec, and look at something that may have not made uh, sense. And that is these two lines, line 38 and, and line 46, where we're trying to have a link that points to which user we want to log out. And we had, before, we didn't have this user specified. And you may have been questioning, well, why do we have to specify the user? Don't we know who should be logged out? Isn't it the user that's currently logged in? And you would be correct. But you need to remember that with our uh, nice routes that we've got set for us, the, the login path it explicitly specifies right here that there's going to be an ID for the particular login that we're trying to delete. Uh, another hint of that is if we go to the logins controller right here, nowhere in this destroy method do we actually use that ID. So we're given that ID, but we're not doing anything with it. Uh, so there, the last uh, reason is the login path to get to a logout kind of seems a, a little bit strange. So let's um, go ahead and create a what's called a named route. And a named route is a special name that we can create just like these for any route that we want. So we're going to do this in uh, our routes, our config slash routes file. And uh, it's not a resource because we already have our logins resource. What it is, is it's a special request type that we're going to accept. And so uh, what we're going to say is when we see a delete request for something that's called, let's call it logout right here, what we're going to do is we're going to redirect that to the, the logins controller and we're going to direct it to the destroy action and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a special name uh, that we have listed here in this prefix here so that's what this as comes in and we will call it as logout so with that change we now will have a, a new um, route provided to us as soon as this comes out, and we can see that we've got a logout. Now notice that the logout no longer has that ID, and it's going to point to the same action. But we don't care if it doesn't have that ID anymore because we, we didn't use it. So let's look everywhere for this login path, and we will uh, switch it with this logout path. It will read better, and we don't have to pass the information that it, we, we already know. So let's go for it. We're going to look for a login path everywhere in, um, in our directory here. And most of these are tildes, but uh, we have our spec login pages and we have our application template. So let's edit those real quickly. So spec login pages. We're going to look for login path and we're going to change that to log out path. And we don't have to provide it to the user anymore. Um, that's new login path. That is one we want to change. and we have replaced all of them there. And then what we want to do is also edit our template for our application website. And here, again, we want to change that to logout path. So now we believe we've done a refactoring and we should, of course, run our tests 
to verify that we haven't broken anything because that that would just be uh, really bad and we have so let's go back and edit our spec features login pass and 48 um, the problem is that there's something missing right here a curly brace so we save that and try to rerun it again and it turns chugs 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 slowly but we don't have any syntax errors we're seeing green so far so good 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 and we have green so we have our our first refactoring and this is called a named route because we can uh, use it let's let's see how that looks in the web server so the we'll, we'll web browser I'm trying to start the server and say browser at the same time here so the server started what we can do is we can log in here and we, we need to be logged in for this to make any sense um, And now look at the URL. It's slash logout. But we'll we'll go there explicitly just to show. This is a much more uh, readable for some other user that to to go to, to this logout link than it is. Um, oh, but we tried to do a get, so we can't go to it from our browser directly. We need we need to do this this delete here and so that's why we have to directly go through this link to get ourselves to log out but uh, named routes can be really helpful if you want to provide links to users and you don't want them to to see information and be confused by it or why, why am I going here that doesn't make any sense you can create all kinds of, of named routes and in fact, uh, we're going to do that with the, uh, some more with our next episode.